name is Maya, and welcome to my channel, Cranley Place, where I'm posting content on scarf style, knot tutorials, and more. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to be notified of new videos, which I'm publishing weekly. In prior videos, I've previewed many of the spring-summer 2022 scarves from Hermes from the women's collection. If you haven't seen them, be sure to check those out. But in today's video, I'd like to cover some new silk and cashmere designs in the men's collection that I certainly wouldn't mind wearing myself. Let's take a look. Victor Hockmang is a Dutch designer, illustrator, and experimental comics artist. Originally trained as a graphic designer at the Royal Academy in The Hague, he gradually grew into illustration and visual storytelling, finding main inspiration in ukiyo-e and the European ligne claire tradition of comic strips. This designer was a finalist in the Grand Prix du Carré Hermès competition launched in 2019. And this design, it's an exquisite blend of refined Japanese prints and modern Belgian comics from the 1950s. You can see this futuristic motorcyclist on his curvaceous mechanical steed with its nod to the house's equestrian heritage in the form of horseshoes and stirrups. The background is reminiscent of the flagship store at 24 Faubourg, with Hermès spelled out in neon in Greek, Latin, Russian, or Thai letters. I've seen this cashmere silk 140 scarf in four colorways so far, all of which have contrast hems. This also appears to be available in a silk twill pocket square size, which I can't wait to see in person. Here is another silk twill pocket square that I found interesting. This is by French artist-illustrator duo Sandy Quadrius and Cyril Diatkin. Hermès fans may recognize their names from such scarves as Enduo, Prix de Rebelle, and Les Dix Cavaliers. This design is classic Hermès equestrian, with its title literally translating to equestrian hardware, or in this case, a playful jumble of stirrups. This is also available as a cashmere GM losange in at least three colorways. If you're not familiar with that format, it's a diamond-shaped scarf measuring 29 and a half inches at its widest by 78.7 inches long. They all have contrast hems so far. And while I don't yet have any scarves in this format, they do remind me of the plissé shape, and I suspect could make for some interesting styles, aside from the simple muffler format that they're showing in the mod shots. Here is a 100cm cashmere scarf by Danish artist Klaus Kai Schierbeck. From what I can tell, this may be his first scarf design for the house. Known for his animal portraits with anthropomorphic undertones, this is another finalist from the Grand Prix du Carré Hermès competition in 2019. Here he showcases a dozen horses joyriding in a royal carriage. Take a close look at the hilarious expressions on the horses' faces, ranging from sulky to scared or even flirtatious. Which one do you identify with? I've seen this scarf in at least three colorways, not yet here in the U.S., but at least we have an idea of what's possible. Here is another 100 centimeter cashmere scarf by Anne Kepler and Veronica Wildgruber an illustrator team that I believe is also relatively new to the house. From what I can tell, their first Hermes scarf design may have been Carrick Bend, issued in the spring-summer 2020 men's collection, featuring this classic sailor's knot used to join two heavy ropes, hawsers, or cables that are tough to bend. This design is about optical illusions, playing with impossible shapes of equestrian accessories such as horseshoes, mayons, and stirrups. 
At first, I thought these square and rectangular shapes might be based on playing cards, but actually the lids seen within the design are inspired by guilloche designed silver boxes conserved in the Emile Hermes collection. This 100 centimeter cashmere scarf is available in at least four colorways. And note that this does vary by region, and often you may find even more when you go into the store. This is a 65 centimeter scarf in a silk and cotton blend by some as yet unnamed artist. I haven't been able to find the name of who designed this on any of the Hermes sites, but if you know, please let me know in the comments. At any rate, this design caught my eye right away. At 65 by 65 centimeters, it's akin to the women's 70s, but of course, slightly smaller. But just look at this gorgeous asymmetric design. I love this floral abstract here, and I dare say it reminds me a bit of Dimitri R.'s Offrande d'un jour, which is another one of my favorites. And look at the scatter of the H's on the other side. Even the quote-unquote square border is anything but and reminiscent of a freehand paint style. I've seen this in at least four colorways. Again, not here in the US, unfortunately, but I am so looking forward to seeing this in person. Here's another design by illustrator duo Anne Kepler and Veronica Wildgruber. The Mayon is a chain link similar to a carabiner with a threaded sleeve that tightens over a thread versus a hinge gate like a carabiner. This makes it stronger but more difficult to use and they're typically suited in multi-directional loads. This design plays with the concept of sparkling water with the effervescent chain link dissolving into a multitude of small H shapes. Again, the Losange GM is a diamond shaped scarf measuring about 30 inches at its widest by nearly 79 inches long. I first saw this in a blue lime yellow colorway, which I think is gorgeous, but I have quite an unhealthy number of blue scarves already in my collection, so I may have to take a hard pass, but this design is available in at least four other combinations, all of which have contrast hems. Sublime. Here's a new cashmere 140 centimeter scarf that appeared recently on the US Hermes website. This is by Dmitry Rybalchenko, a longtime designer for the house. Some of my favorites by him include Afran d'un jour, as mentioned earlier, Magic Kelly, and Facetti de Pegas, to name a few. But back to this season, this design is a helicopter pilot's cockpit view while flying over a mountain range. See if you can spot a few Hermes accessories. There's a Rodeo handbag accessory and a Ulysses notebook. I also like the juxtaposition of the old school cassette player and cassettes alongside the smartphone that the pilot is using for navigation. I've seen this in two colorways so far, both of which have contrast hems. This one is not a typical format that I look at, but when it caught my eye, I found that it's another Dmitry Rybalchenko design. This is a cashmere silk blend measuring about 24.8 inches by 70.9. So lengthwise, it's exactly the same length as the current Hermes Maxi Twilly Slims. This is a reincarnation of the 100 centimeter cashmere design released in 2018, celebrating DJs. The design features a graphic tangle of sliders, buttons, and cables. The last record, or last night, marks the end of the party. If you look closely, you can spot several nods to Hermes on the mixing table. 1837, of course, refers to the date of the house's creation, and 24 is the address of the flagship boutique on the Rue de Faubourg. The playlist also mentions two other Hermes scarves created by this designer, Pegas Pop and Onde de Chic. So there you have it, a peek at some of the spring-summer 2022 scarves in the men's collection from Hermes. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and let me know what you think in the comments.
In future episodes, I'll share other scarf reviews, not tutorials, and more, so be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified of new videos. Thanks again for joining me today. Until next time. Mm -hmm.